Hi guys, Ryan here with another episode of the Space Updates right here on the Total Space Network. Coming up on today's show, what's happening with the Artemis program, AVL systems failure, and do we have another space plane on the way? Let's find out. So launch updates first, coming up on Friday the 21st at 7pm UTC, we've got the Atlas V, uh, 511 configuration, also known as Slider with the one single booster, and then we've got Astra with Rocket 3, another test attempt there on Sunday the January the 23rd at 6pm UTC again, and then SpaceX looking ahead next week on Thursday January 27th at 11.11pm UTC. So so we'll see another booster landing there. Now, first up, ABL Systems, one of the American companies hoping to launch here in the UK with their small launcher. Suffered a minor setback the other day. The second stage of their RS-1 rocket was destroyed by accident uh, during testing on January the 19th, earlier in the week. Observers at the Mojave Air and Space Port in California reported hearing a boom around half 4pm Eastern Time, followed by a plume of black smoke and thankfully no injuries. Uh, more on this as we get it. Onto the James Webb Space Telescope now. The telescope is just a few short days away from reaching its destination, as you can see on the screen there. This was recorded on Thursday evening, so James Webb will be a little further along now. But if you'd like to view this yourself, head over to the NASA website. I'll leave a link down below for that, uh, where you can view where it's going, how fast it's going, and what it's actually doing in space. And as I mentioned earlier, another space plane on the way, Ready in Aerospace, raises a second round of funding and work on a space plane. Uh, the company based in Seattle, suburb of Renton, Washington, announced on January the 19th that it closed $27.5 million seed round to fund its development. Radian is working on a space plane concept called Radium 1. The vehicle is designed to take off from a runway, carry people and light cargo to low Earth orbit before returning to a runway and land. The vehicle echoes similarities to what Dawn Aerospace is development, which is brilliant because the competition drives research and development and so much more. Now, what's going on with Artemis program, I hear you ask? Well, uh, Rocket Lab will be first up in March with their capstone mission. The mission is planned to launch in March late this year. Rocket Lab's photon satellite bus will deliver capstone in trajectory towards the moon. The same orbit uh, for capstone will be used by NASA's Lunar Gateway Station. If you want to learn more about this mission, I really suggest you go and watch our special interview with Rocket Lab and Richard French, which I'll link down below for you guys. Now what I want you guys to do right now is go like this video, go subscribe, watch part one and two of all Assembly Corporation, and I'll catch you next week.